Welcome to the Helston Railway. Yes. Hey, hang on a minute. Time for some hand protection. So this is the 400th video. Uh, firstly, welcome to Kernet EXP. Welcome to the Helston Railway. I am the chief cleaner and fire starting engine man. Actually, that sounds a bit wrong. <laughs> Welcome folks. So, I'm in the engine shed. I'm in charge of warming the engine up, cleaning the engine, and making sure that everything's as it should be. Uh, there's a fire in here right now, warming her up. And um, I'm in the process now of cleaning the engine. So, you can, you can, you're actually privileged folks because the, normally general public aren't allowed in here. You've got to be an active member, active volunteer, and you can have something to do with it, like, you know. And I, I am like, you know, which is right good, I enjoy that. So yeah, so welcome folks, welcome. And uh, now we're going to have a do at uh, cleaning the engine and all that, right, you know. So what we're doing now is we're cleaning the frames because it's, a, it's surprising how dirty, well it's not surprising actually, but it's engine, steam engines of all descriptions, whether it's rail like this, whether it's traction engines which go on the road, whether it's engines that are stationary engines like what I've got, they all get covered in crap and it's a Anybody that's got anything to do with any sort of steam engine, it's a love-hate relationship because engines always attract dirt. <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship, folks. <laughs> but, like I used to work for a chap called uh, Robbie, Robbie Richards, and uh, I was in charge of cleaning showman's engine called the Vanguard and uh, if, it, if it wasn't clean enough Robbie would say no no do it again don't like that he had me there right at the bottom of the engine with a toothbrush cleaning this brass fitting I think it was the injector valve toothbrush folks <laughs> that's attention to detail right? it really is oh, that frame's looking a bit better so this is the 400th video on Kernet EXP. And as I said, it's quite a special one because we're doing something that I've got a deep passion about and family connections too. Because, like I said on previous videos, my granddad, Charlie, he was in charge of a goods depot in Red Roof, Drunk Lane goods depot it was, and then it went British Railways Western Region, and then it went to National Carriers, and he was there right through all those years. Very well respected man he was. Very inspiring, and that's one of the reasons why I've got passion for railways because of him. Now in recent years I found out that my granddad Ralph, who I look like, worked at um, National Coal Board in uh, Yorkshire and uh, he drives uh, engines like this. So I've got two parts of the family that have got railway connections. And it's thanks to my granddad Charlie that uh, inspired me when I was about seven, eight. That got me into this. It's what this country is made of. 
this country invented the steam engine, and obviously he was a Campbell man. His name was Captain Dick Richard Trevithick, pioneer of high pressure steam. And every year in Camborne, we have a special celebration of uh, Richard Trevithick, which is called Trevithick Day. And a, few, a couple of years ago, when this engine was um, coming down, they actually stopped at, at Trevithick Day and had this engine on display actually on where the traction engines were, which is awesome for us. I'm proud to be a member of this rally, folks. Very proud indeed. Looks like she hasn't been cleaned for a while. I hope you can see me all right, you know. Yeah. So we're cleaning the motion right now. It's very important, that is. Like, um, like I was told by my mate uh, a few weeks ago, he said, anything from here downwards is important. The rest of it is bullshit because it, that doesn't really matter. Yes, it's nice to have it looking clean, but uh, the thing is, right, when you run the engine for a few times, the gunk builds up and it creates like a paste. And that paste is like a grinding compound and it has to be removed. If it's not removed, then the engine can be damaged and that's bad, bad news, folks. So you, this, like I said, below here, all engine crew, all preserved railways in the UK would know this. Anything below there, it must be done. It must be done. It's important, otherwise the engine could be damaged. The rest of it, you can get away with that. But uh, in BR days, they didn't worry about that at all. They didn't clean it at all. And you see the engine, they're black, black. Like I've been down here sometimes, covered in black. <laughs> Right, so we're going to chuck some wood on now. Massive amount for the steam preservation movement. 
massive. Kept me inspired. And a lot of other people. Besides that. He'd be tickled that this rail was here and convinced of it. <coughs> right. So we've got the that's in there now. Right, so the motion on this side is now complete. I'm going to move you guys in a minute over to there so you can see me clean that side of the engine. I right? yeah. hope you're enjoying this little video. Uh, if you are, like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I always kind of reply. No, not kind of. I always reply, folks. So if you want to put a comment, I'll reply to you. Maybe not right away, but I will reply. All right? So we're going to move you guys now. <coughs> Except I don't switch you lot off, <laughs> which I have done before, like, you know, which is a bit of a pain. Right, bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Bear with me. You're not going to be able to see me down there, are you? Oh well, extra content, isn't it? So as I said folks, cleaning the engine is of the utmost importance below, below this line. That must be done. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah, it's getting a bit muddy there. Yeah, so after a while of uh, when you're cleaning an engine, because we use a diesel and an oil mixture to clean the frames, and it's the only thing that really, really works really well indeed, folks. After a while, your rag gets really manky. When it gets to the stage that this one's almost at, we have to throw it away. But we don't throw them away, because what we do is we use these for lighting the fire in the engine, because sometimes the wood gets damp and you need that extra bit of uh, pyrotechnic <laughs> to get the engine going and all that, you know. So this is what we use the rags for. We use the old rags for lighting the engine up. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video, folks. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any locations in Cornwall you'd like me to explore, whether it's to do with World War II, disused railways, ROC posts, mining, World War II, anything along those lines that you know about that you would like to explore or recorded onto film, onto YouTube, then please comment. And if you haven't subscribed, why don't you subscribe, folks? It's free and you get into, look into wonderful places in and around Cornwall where I go because uh, I get all over Cornwall, only in Cornwall, folks. So I, I get into South Devon, but not at the moment. We'd be doing Devon in the new year, folks. Anyway, cheers and gone. Like, comment and subscribe.